Hi, welcome to Strategic Management Capstone course with City Vision. My name is Andrew Sears and I'm the course designer for this course. I'm going to walk you through an introduction and an overview of the course. Um, just to start you off, the course outcomes, um, the first thing you're going to be doing is doing a stakeholder analysis and collecting and analyzing feedback on the stakeholders. Then you're going to go and analyze all the functional do domains of the organization and synthesize that into a strategic plan. And those two words are really important. That's why I underline them. I'm going to explain what they mean in this context. Um, and so you're going to be going through all the different aspects of an organization, accounting, human resources, boards, cross-cultural management, social entrepreneurship, marketing, fundraising, Christian values, integration. And the end result is you're going to be creating a strategic plan for a nonprofit um, or profit or ministry. But the focus of this course is especially on nonprofits. So the course outline um, and the book that we're using for this course is one of the best books I've seen um, for nonprofits. And um, the outline is week one. We're going to be covering the first two chapters. You're, you'll talk about um, working with stakeholder input um, week two going through mission, vision, and values, and an environmental scan. Week three, we're going to talk about um, nonprofit theory of change and evaluating your program portfolio. Week four is um, evaluating your business model, then organizational capacity, leadership. Week seven, you will complete a draft um, of your strategic plan, and then week eight, you'll revise that, and we'll talk about how you can actually use it. So the overall framework that is used in this course is that they there are um, four main components of a strategic plan. There's a theory of change and program portfolio. There's the business model, your organization's capacity and leadership, and all of those you'll be looking at the environment. So what is a capstone? Um, many people aren't familiar with the term. They're much more familiar with the term, um, you know, like a thesis. So a capstone is actually very similar to a thesis. Um, the difference is it's much more practical. Um, what it does is you combine all the parts of your degree into a finished project. So, um, and the word synthesis is really important. It, it involves combining things to create something new after analysis. So your ability to... Um, to synthesize all of your previous work in this course will be the primary assessment of whether you're, you can meet the requirements expected of master's students to graduate. So the first part of this course is going to be analysis, but the most important part of this course is going to be the synthesis at the end. Um, I've worked with a lot of master's students, and I've found that most master's students, um, they get to the synthesis stage and it's really difficult. It's kind of like someone who's used to running one or two miles. And I say, now we're going to run 20 and they're just like, I don't know what you're talking about. So that's part of why I'm emphasizing this, um, is, uh, you're going to have to combine all the, you know, data that you collect into a coherent whole. Um, and let me talk a little bit more of how that is going to work. Um, so one of the tools we're going to use in this course, and it provides kind of a master framework in this course is something called, um, competing values leadership. So the idea behind competing values leadership is um, this is a, you know, what they call a two by two grid, but each of these four quadrants, the diagonals compete with each other. So you can take startup and innovation values, which in, in this framework they call create. Um, and often if you're very entrepreneurial like me, often um, having, you know, you're not as strong in operations or accounting or, or governance governance. Um, so that's more personality type driven. And then the other is really organizational values driven. So that's ministry and relational values. And that might be your program people versus your fundraising people, your business and your, your fundraising values. And the idea is if you're going to be a good manager, you need to be able to operate in all four quadrants. And if you have a good strategic plan, you're going to need to be able to um, do all four quadrants too. So part of what we try to do and, and the whole the whole purpose of our master's program really is to make you a balanced manager. So people come in and um, often they come in from one perspective or another. So you might come from a ministry background and, you know, you're going to uh, take the ministry values and any ministry courses you take, you're going to love. But then um, if you take the business courses, you're going to be like, why are you making me take these courses? 
Um, I don't understand why I, I should be taking this. Um, or vice versa. You know, I get business people, they come from the business world and then they take a ministry course and they're like, this is so soft. There's no equations in it. You're wasting my time. But the reality is to be a balanced organization and to be a balanced manager, you know, if, if you're operating at a low level, if you're one of the, you know, field troops, then you can just know you're, you're one part of the organization. But if you're going to be a manager, you need to understand all the parts of the organization. So um, then you have staff who have operations personality and then staff who have entrepreneurial personality. And um, the whole purpose of the degree is to try to get you balanced out with different courses. So um, we have our ministry and relational courses. That's the cross-cultural courses. We have Christian Community Development, Urban Youth Ministry, um, Human Resources, Organizational Behavior. Um, and then we have the business and funding competency. So that's marketing, grant writing, nonprofit fundraising, nonprofit managerial accounting, management and leadership. Um, then we have our operations courses. So that's nonprofit startup, law and board development, nonprofit financial accounting, project management. And then you have innovation competencies, social entrepreneurship, small business management. And what makes this course unique is it's not in any of those quadrants. It integrates all four of the quadrants. And what it's trying to do is whatever our, of our courses you've taken, um, it, you're going to be trying to integrate what you've learned into a cohesive whole. So um, just as a, for instance, if you write a uh, plan for an organization, the cross-cultural management and ministry, it may be a great plan, um, but you may not be able to implement it because you may have other priorities. So how do you evaluate what your other priorities are? Um, and how do you, you know, have them kind of compete for, for what you're going to do? That's ultimately what the synthesis is about is saying, you know, out of the 150 things that we could do, um, based on the analysis, what are the five that are most important? So, um, another way of looking at this is what's the outcomes for the whole degree. Um, we have six domains that we're trying to get, get you competency in finance, innovation, relational values, strategy, and specialization. Now this course, while it does strategy, it's also integrating all of those other values. So that is the basic overview. Now um, you should have the course. Um, you cannot pass this course if you don't have this book. Um, you definitely need to get the book. Um, there are four other things that I'm gonna show you. Um, there's a worksheet that we're gonna re refer to in almost every assignment. Um, a strategic plan template that you're gonna use for the final project. And every week you're gonna be doing a component of the final project. Um, there's a video playlist for this course and there's also course slides that you can, you can download. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk you through some of these resources. So if you go to the info tab, then you can find all of these um, things. You can find the course slides, the course video playlist, the um, strategic plan template, and the strategic management worksheet. So um, the slides are available on SlideShare. The course playlist is available on YouTube. I'm going to add this recording and, and other recordings that I do on YouTube. And um, for each course, I, I mean, for each assignment, you're going to be going through two things. You're going to be going through um, this document that is a strategic um, strategic management worksheet. So in this, um, this, this worksheet has a bunch of different worksheets and they all are numbered. So if you open up this and Adobe Acrobat reader, you can just click on it and it'll pull you to the, the worksheet. There's only a few worksheets where I'm actually having you do the worksheet, um, in the, in the PDF. And usually I, I separate those out in most cases, we'll just refer to the worksheet. But as you go through, you'll see a, a reference to worksheet 1.4 that won't be listed in that week's lesson. You're going to have to find that, um, going back, uh, to the course info tab. It's also listed. If you go to the course introduction, um, and it's listed in the, the step four. Um, so the other part is the um, strategic plan template. So what we've done is we've basically created an outline with instructions of what you would do in your strategic plan. Now, um, one important thing to realize is every um, submission that you're going to have, every assignment submission and the final project is going to go through this rubric. Um, 
this rubric is highly weighted towards being practical. So um, you should assume that we're trying to evaluate your work as if we were your executive director um, and, you know, trying to assess how, how this, how effective this would, what the work you're doing be in serving the organization. Um, we also look at, you know, how well it reflects that you've mastered the concepts in this course and, and the degree, and then just the professionalism and accuracy. Now you can go through and you should customize the logo and organization name here, and then there's a table of contents. So as you go through, um, I'll just walk you through um, real quick. So you're going to have an executive summary. You're not going to do that until the very end. Um, then in week one, you're going to be doing this, this part one. You're going to um, do the stakeholder analysis, the internal stakeholder questionnaire and results, external stakeholder questionnaire and results, and strategic planning. Now, you will find the instructions for this in, um, in the week one um, assignment. So, um, and then each week you will also have assignments that where there will be instructions for how to go through this, um, and what components you submit. Usually the way it works, if you go to the assignments, you'll see here, and it, it's really important for this course for you to read everything, um, and to watch everything unless it says, um, optional. Um, you know, like I said, this is a thesis course. Hopefully if, if you do this right, this will be the most challenging course that you're doing in your master's program and it will be challenging, um, because you put the effort into it. So, um, and mo most weeks you'll have forums that will build towards your, um, final project. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is there's going to be a live session in, um, week two and in week six your um, professor will schedule a time and you can find out about those. So if you have any questions or you need anything else, then um, just, just let us know and we will um, be glad to answer you. So just contact your professor. So thanks a lot. Bye.